In this video, we will show you how you can change the tagging that goes along with a message reply or forward, how to change where the cursor is placed when quoting text in a reply, and how to add a personal signature to your outgoing messages. The default behavior on a quoted reply is to indicate the sender's name only and the cursor is placed after the quote. Similarly, if you forward a message, only a separator is indicated above the forwarded content. In both cases, no identifying signature is added to the end of the text. To change this behavior, you can choose Edit Preferences on Windows or First Class Preferences on Macintosh and click on the Messaging tab and then Initial Content. You can change the cursor placement for a quoted reply from the default after quote to before quote and you can add a timestamp to go along with the username. For forwarded messages, you can choose to include the entire message header. When you are sending a new message or replying to a received one, you can choose to add a signature at the end of the message. This can be done automatically with every new message or response, or you can do it manually. You enter your signature information in this field and optionally choose to have it applied automatically. Let's now look at how our changes affect our reply. Notice now the time is added to our reply and the cursor is placed before the quote. There is no signature automatically added as we did not check that box. We can manually add our signature after the reply by clicking on the signature button on the toolbar or by using the keyboard shortcut Control shift s or Command shift s on a Macintosh. If we had checked this checkbox on our preferences form, the signature would be automatically added to every new email or response. Let's do that now. If we forward this message, note the entire header is included and, as expected, the signature has been automatically added.